Hey guys, this is Patty Toom with you and again wanting to take you on my journey to health uh, with me and the family and see how this goes. So today what I wanted to do was figure out a way to add nutrients in a sneaky way into our kids and my husband's food because it's near Christmas so we've been eating, you know, you know how it is, you, you're eating candies and cookies and finger foods and junk stuff and you're going out to eat just to kind of manage uh, all the hustle and bustle of just getting everything done. So today we're having some people over and I am doing a prime rib, vegetable, you know, mashed potatoes, gravy, that kind of thing, and desserts. So how am I going to get nutrients, sneak some more nutrients into what we already have? So what I was going to do is take mashed potatoes and add something in there. And so I was going through my fridge and all I could find is cabbage. So I thought, huh, I could sneak some cabbage in there. So this is what I did. Um, I cut up nine potatoes and I'll show you a picture here. And then I took half a cup of cabbage. And why half a cup? I didn't want to add too much in there because I don't know how this is going to turn out. And at the same time, I want to sneak it in there. So I could always add more later, but let's just see how this works out. So here's the half a cup of cabbage, added it in there. And just some FYI information on cabbage. I get my information from nutrition data. Cabbage is a good source of vitamin C, vitamin K. There's some folate, some calcium in there. So it's great ways to get that. I mean, obviously, if you're taking your vitamins, you're getting some. But always getting more is better, especially uh, help, helping to fight off colds, disease, that type of thing. And just maintaining um, a better function with our body if we have the proper nutrients. So, uh, I'll show you here. I am showing you a picture of uh, my pot with the cabbage in it. And um, I'm going to boil this. But then I decided, why don't I add a little bit of rosemary? Because I had some rosemary from the garden as well. And I freeze my rosemary in the freezer. And so I thought I'll add a little bit of rosemary in there as well. Because it'll add a good flavor and, again... Um, the nutrients. So then I boiled it obviously, you know, boiled my potatoes and here's a picture of it done. You can see the steam just coming off of it and the cabbage is really nice and tender and because it's nice and tender I figure I'm going to blend it all together and it'll just kind of blend in with the potatoes and hopefully nobody's going to notice it. So here you go. I've mashed up the potatoes and it looks really, really good. You really can't even tell that there's cabbage in it. But the best tester is to have somebody try it and not tell them there's cabbage in it and see what happens. So I grab my daughter because she's running around in the kitchen this morning because she's hungry. And I'm going to have her try it and see what she says. So I videotaped it um, and here are the results. Okay. What do you think? Good. It is good? Yeah. Guess what? What? I put cabbage in there. But it's still good, isn't it? <laughs> what?